I'm in Hernando, Mississippi at the Velvet Cream, AKA the dip where it's hip to have your ice cream filled with chocolate chips. What brings us here today? What can you say? They have two, not just one food challenges, but we are here to eat and potentially beat a gallon of ice cream where my time limit is, I can't leave my seat. Can I do it? Let's find out. Located about 20 minutes from Memphis, Hernando, Mississippi, that's home of the dip, has some delicious eats, meats, sweets, and treats. With menu items featuring the hot fudge cow pie patty, as well as all craft made ice cream and delicious nutritious burgers, this place is going to be awesome. Let me tell you, as you see all these delicious flavors for me to savor, you can get your bucket filled with about 20 different scoops, but we have seven that are gonna bring me to heaven today. What would you fill your bucket with? Let me know down below. Down to down. Yeah, that was a little fruit in there. It's healthy, right? <laughs> yep. Hold mm -hmm. on, man. The strawberries and peach. Oh, yeah. Is that Italian ice? Oh, that's good. Can you make that too? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, everything we have here. Made by me. Oh, nice. Honestly, we couldn't have picked a better day to do this challenge. We had just done the 10th inning challenge, the showstopper right before this. It was hot outside, which helped the ice cream get to that really nice texture where it's a little bit melty. And honestly, these initial bites were delicious, but this challenge is huge. Everyone wants to eat a gallon of ice cream until it's in your fate. Just trying to hit bottom on one side to see how far I go down. It's a spoon. That's how deep that shit is. Like, it goes all the way down. I'm like, oh, okay, that's just it. Never come to a food challenge without your own utensils. As you see, Freak Eating is taking a beating with this plastic spoon. Or have no fear, your favorite former fat kid is here with a spoon that he packed. And yes, we have a food challenge. First today, what can we say? I was already burning five minutes into the contest because we waited for um, the ice cream to get served. And it was hot outside, very humid, and I could already feel myself burning. But I am putting this ice cream challenge in that realm of pasta, cereal, and rice where you just keep eating and eating and it really doesn't show any movement. This is definitely mentally tough at this point. You want to join us? Yeah, you want one? I'll set you up too. I don't blame you.
mean, just being outdoor place, you know, I, I'm kind of aware of them, but yeah. that's been really that bad. That's not fucking good. The ice cream cake one hit? Yeah. Oh, God. Which one? Ice cream? Uh, the cake batter? Yeah, cake oh. batter, yeah. Ice cream cake, that's a good name for it, too. Huh. Well, it's basically what it, what it is. You take them, mix them together, that's what you got. I mean, you just tell it, it's like real cream versus like yeah. frozen. And we crush that Kroger shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I wanted to get one of the uh, Italian ices. Yeah, because there's no milk in that. When you so switch it's, away it's from light. dairy, you can tell the oh. difference. I'm almost there. Yeah. And then I pick up a spoonful and I'm like, man, there's just so much more to go. <laughs> By the way, I love the name of the hot fudge cow pie. Oh yeah. That's going on TikTok. Like, <laughs> would you eat this? Would you eat this? I had I, would. A, I had a hot fudge cow patty while I was in Mississippi. <laughs> Say, I've shaved orange ice and sweet down there. It might be a Georgia peach actually. The peach is gonna be a bright peach color, so that's it's kind of orange. It is, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what you got. Actually, it's refreshing in here. Some of the other. Yeah, you can tell them that before. Slow it down a little bit. My stomach is like eating a food. Oh, yeah. I feel good for someone who's trying to eat a gallon of ice cream. Right? <laughs> yeah, you know you got about a quart each or so? Yeah. Just based on look, sir? <coughs> oh, toughest quart in a container, though. That cheesecake's bomb. Yeah. I don't know if you got any cheesecake flavor. Mm -hmm. I got that strawberry cheesecake. I think you got a blueberry. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah it's quite good. The showstopper is hitting back, but all I can think about is that Magic Mitch took an hour and 22 minutes to do this challenge. So I do have time on my side, so I don't have to hide. And like, this is still delicious as ever, but I, I am feeling pretty shaky at this point. Ooh. Howdy. You coming next? <laughs> Come on, it's free ice cream. You gotta earn it, but. Yeah, we gotta earn it. Even if you started here at 10 in the morning and we're like, I'm gonna be here all day, they'd be done by noon. They'd be like, I don't know if it was because my bucket was in the sun more than Freak Eatings, but he had a lot more ice cream, uh, whole ice cream stain together, where mine definitely got melty, and that is when I knew that I was going to be able to beat this challenge once I got all that big, big ice cream down, and literally, it was nuts. I could feel it in my guts just how cold that challenge was and all that ice cream down there. Are we almost there? Yep, there you go. He's starting to drink it now. Yeah. 
So as you see, we picked up the win and it was awesome because this place has some of the best t-shirts I've ever seen in food challenges. Uh, we got this one that was uniquely uh, special to Mississippi and we're off to the next adventure. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate each and every one of you and uh, we'll see you on that next adventure. Stay sick, stay thick. Peace.